Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class, it's all about solving proportions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we are told to find the missing term in each proportion. Alright, so let's start with number 1. So for number 1 class, 2 over 13 equals 6 over n. So we need to find the value of n. So to find the value of n, let's just do cross multiplication. So 2 over 13 equals 6 over n. So just do cross multiplication. Multiply this one and this one. So this will be 2 times n. So 2 times n equals 13 times 6 or 6 times 13. 6 times 13. So 2 times n, that is 2n, equals 6 times 13. What's the answer, class? 13 times 6. Let's multiply that. 13 times 6. 6 times 3, that is 18. Carry 1. 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 78. So this will be 78. And then, to get the value of n, you just divide both sides by 2. Divide by 2. So cancel this out. 78 divided by 2. What's the answer, class? 78 divided by 2, so this is 7 divided by 2, that is 3. 3 times 2 is 6, subtract, 7 minus 6 is 1, bring down 8. 18 divided by 2, that is 9, 9 times 2 is 18, subtract, this is 0. 39, so therefore n is 39. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 1, n is 39. So you can write this one, 2 over 13 is equal to 6 over your n is 39. So if you multiply this one, you will get 78. 39 times 2, that is 78. 13 times 6, that is 78. And that's the value of n plus. So your n is equals to 39. That's it. Plus. That's the answer for number 1. Easy, right? For number 1. So let's try number 2. Now, what if, sir, the given question is in column form? You have 7 is to 3 is equals to x is to 9. So once again, this is the means and this will be the extremes. So to answer this one class, we write this one in fraction form. That would be 7 over 3 is equal to x over 9. So let's do the cross multiplication. So you multiply this one, 7 times 9 and then 3 times x. So this will be 7 times 9 equals x times 3 or 3 times x so that's the same class you will get the same answer x times 3 and 3 times x is just the same answer that would be 3x so this will be 7 times 9 that is 63 is equals to 3x x times 3 that is 3x and then divide both sides by 3 so that we can cancel this out and then we can find the value of x so this will be 63 divided by 3 what's the answer class that's correct. That would be 21. So this will be 21 equals x. That's it, class. That's the answer there for number 2. 21 for x. So we can complete this one. This will be 7 is to 3 equals 21 is to 9. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 2. Our x is equals to 21. And this will be the complete equation. Alright, and for number 1, this is the complete equation for number 1. Alright, let's try number 3. I hope you're still with me, class, for this one. Alright, let's try number 3. So this will be 4x minus 1 over 3 is equals to 6x plus 1 over 5. Then you cross multiply. So you multiply this up and this one. So this will be 5 times 4x minus 1. So 5 times 4x minus 1 equals 3 times this one. 3 times 6x plus 1. I will just write 3 first class because this is binomial for 6x plus 1. So if this is binomial class, we need to distribute. Okay, distributive property. So this will be 5 times 4x, that is 20x. 5 times negative 1, that's negative 5 equals 3 times 6x, that's 18x. Then 3 times 1, that's positive 3. Alright, and then transpose 18 from right to left so that all of the equations will be x on the left side of this equal sign. And we transpose this 5 from left to right. 
So this will be 20x. This is positive 18. It will be negative 18. x equals copy 3. This is negative 5. It will be positive 5. Do not forget about this one class. Once you transfer from this equal sign, you always change the sign. So this will be 20x minus 18x. That is 2x equals 3 plus 5. That is 8. And to get the value of x, you divide both sides by 2. Divide by 2. So cancel this out. Therefore, our x is equals to, what's the answer class? 8 divided by 2. That's correct. x is equals to 4. Alright, so that's the value of x. Now to complete the equation, so this will be 4x minus 1. So let's check class, what's the value of this term on the upper part? So let's substitute the value of x, that is 4. So 4x minus 1. Okay, this one class, 4x minus 1. So we have 4, and our x is 4. 4 times 4 minus 1. So 4 times 4, that is 16, minus 1, that is 15. Okay, on the upper part, therefore, this is 15. So this will be 15 over 3 is equals to, and this one, because 6x plus 1. So if the teacher will ask you to find the value of x, this will be the answer class. Now, if the teacher will tell you, to find all of the numbers inside this proportion, okay, this proportion to find the ratios. So we need to substitute the value of x class. So this will be 6x plus 1, and our x is 4, so 6 times 4 plus 1. So 6 times 4, what's the answer class? 6 times 4. That is 24 plus 1, that is 25. So therefore, in the upper part, this is 25 over 5. So if you multiply that up, 15 times 5, that is 75. 25 times 3, that is 75. Alright, so check. This one is checked. This one is also checked. This one is also checked. So this will be the missing term in each proportion. Okay, if the teacher will ask for the variable, for the x only, therefore our x is only 4. So our x is 4. Now if you want the proportion, this will be the numbers class. 15 over 3 equals 25 over 5. Alright, and let's try last number. Number 4. I hope you're still with me class for this one. If you have some questions with regards to the proportion class, do not hesitate to ask class. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. You can always message me class in our Facebook channel. Same name with our YouTube channel. Alright, let's try number 4. 2 over x minus 4 equals 7 over 2x plus 1. Once again, we do cross multiplication. Multiply this up. So this will be, I will just write 2 first because this is binomial. So this will be 2 times 2x plus 1 equals 7 times x minus 4. Then we distribute. Okay, distribute this one, distribute this one. So 2 times 2x, that is 4x. 2 times 1, that's positive 2. Equals 7 times x, that is 7x. 7 times negative 4, what's the answer? Because 7 times negative 4. That's correct, that's negative 28. So in this scenario class, instead of transposing 7x from right to left, once again, if you transpose 7x from right to left, this will be 4x minus 7x. And 4x minus 7x, you will get negative 3x. And it will be more complicated, class, if you're dealing with negative x number. So the thing that you will do, class, for us not to have a negative x, we just simply transpose 4x from left to right. Okay, and this number 28, we transpose it from right to left. Always remember this one, class. In algebra, x equals 3 is just the same with 3 equals x. Always remember this one, class. This is just the same. x equals 3 it's just the same with 3 equals x. So it doesn't matter, class, if your x is on the left or your x is on the right. Okay? It doesn't matter, class. You will get the same answer. So x is equals 3. x equals 3 is just the same with 3 equals x. So therefore, we just simply transpose this 4 from left to right so that our x answer class will be positive. Okay? If you really want to transpose 7x from right to left, that's okay, class. You can do that. But for me, class, it's better to transpose 4x from left to right so that our x value will be positive. So this will be 7x. We transpose this one. This is positive 4x. It will be negative 4x. 
and copy 2, all of the numbers will be on the left. Then 28, this is negative, it will be positive 28. And this will be 2 plus 28, that is 30, equals 7x minus 4x, that's 3x. And to get the value of x, you divide both sides by 3, divide by 3. So cancel this out. And 30 divided by 3. What's the answer class? 30 divided by 3. That's correct. That is 10 equals x. That's it class. That's the answer there for number 4. Our x is 10. Now the teacher will ask for the proportion for this one. The complete numbers. Alright. Let's substitute the value of x. So I hope you get this one class. I will be erasing this one. So if you want to transpose 7x from right to left, you will get the same answer class. That is 10. So you try that one class and you check if you have the same answer. Alright, so substitute the value of x. This will be x minus 4. So x minus 4, or x is 10. 10 minus 4. Therefore, this is 6. So this will be 2 over 6 equals the other one. 2x plus 1. So 2x plus 1. 2 and our x is 10. 2 times 10 plus 1, so 2 times 10, that is 20, plus 1, that is 21. So this will be 7 over 21. And our x class is 10. Alright, so if you multiply this up, 2 times 21, that's 42. 7 times 6, that is 42. Therefore, class, our answer is correct. That's it, class. That's how you solve for this one class. So I hope you learned something new today class with regards to solving proportions. Once again, if you have some questions with regards to solving proportions class, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. So I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. You have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.